Now, with so many seed varieties to choose from, it can be overwhelming to choose the right variety for your garden. So in today's video, we will be discussing some factors that you need to consider when you're selecting seed varieties for your garden, just to ensure that you have a successful and a productive season. So all of that is coming up. Welcome to Veggies and Herbs. I'm Robin Malale. Now spring is around the corner and sometimes the enthusiasm can cause most gardeners, me included, to go around and just go and buy seeds just in preparation for the upcoming spring season. But I think before one actually go about buying some seed, it's important to have a clear plan just to determine as to what are your objectives and what do you want to achieve during this upcoming growing season. And I think one of the things that will inform your planning is to firstly determine what are your goals, what do you and your family enjoy to eat, because the last thing that you want to do is to grow items that you and your family are not enjoying. So first and foremost, it's, to, it's important to ensure that you are growing items that you and your family enjoy. Now, next point or next item to consider is to understand your climate. South Africa is a big country and there are different climates uh, that might be applied to different areas. We have the subtropical areas, we have the dry interior, you have areas that receive rain throughout the year, and then you have areas like Cape Town where we only receive our rain during the winter months. So as a gardener, it's important to understand your area. And although September might be the beginning of the spring season, it's important for you also to understand when will be the last frost date in your area. The last thing that you want to do is to go out and just go and plant some items that could be affected by your frost. So, but I think it's important to understand your climate, to understand how long is your season, and then plant crops that are suitable for your re regional climate. Now, the next item or factor that you need to consider is the size of your garden. So, if you have a limited space, it's even more important to have a clear plan to determine what you will be growing. Certain crops require much, much big space to grow. So it's important to firstly determine the size of your garden. Uh, and that will, should also inform what type of crops you will be growing. Uh, ideally, if you have a small or limited space, it's important to grow uh, short season crops, which will allow you to grow them in succession. It's also important to consider compact plants like bush variety. Uh, uh, consider maybe bush varieties like determinant tomatoes uh, or consider making use of vertical space. Uh, if you have a big space then you can definitely go all out and consider planting spiral plants like pumpkins. So the uh, your size of your garden will definitely determine also your seed selection. So definitely container gardens are is also definitely an option if you have limited space. So I hope that these items or these factors will enable you to actually choose your winners. I know that spring fever is real. I, I have been also a victim of that where I just go about uh, uh, and buy seeds that can actually start a farm. But I think if we want to be productive and successful, it's important to take these factors into consideration when we are planning for the upcoming growing season. But now is your turn. Please let us know as to what you, what are you considering uh, to grow for the upcoming growing season. You can check out this video where I talk about techniques for gardeners with small space, as well as another video for beginner gardeners. But thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in future videos. Keep on sewing and growing. Cheers.